Hello, this is Warrior Queen with your collective reading, and today is Saturday. The first card I pull is the Chariot card. Determination, moving towards goals and progress. The next card I pulled was the Baby card. New beginnings, new projects. I pulled the flowering card. Spread yourself outward. Don't hold everything in. Um, honoring your energy. Ground. Pay homage. Share your energy. Temperance card. Self-control. Patience. And being sensible. Yeah. Looks like you still need to let something go. Bury something. Leave something in your past. That's bothering you. Existence. Remember, you exist here for a reason. There's nobody here without a purpose or a goal. Your existence is important. Sacred space. Sometimes you might need to find that sacred space to meditate. Call on your higher self. Call on source. I pulled the three of swords. Separation, loss, and breakup. Pull the money card. Your financial situation is going to be all right. You might have had a little loss, but don't dwell on it. Healing. This might be a good time for you to practice a little self-healing. And notice where the hands are. It's on the head and the stomach. New beginnings. After your healing process, you can look forward to new beginnings. The four of coins again. <laughs> this represents stability, material success, or you could be holding yourself back. Out of fear of loss. This card is saying. Be happy. Don't dwell in fear. Go out there. Come out this little shell. That you're in. And be happy and free. Clean it to pass. Need to stop dwelling in the past. Stop clinging to it. Let it go. Release it. In duality, balance, masculine and feminine energy within yourself. Then I pulled the animal kingdom. And this says, keep it simple and easy. Stay focused. Listen to your instincts. And the bear represents hibernation, strength, and confidence. Challenges ahead. The wolf, seeing the truth. Be cautious. Follow your intuition. The owl, higher wisdom. Observation, dreaming, transition. The deer. Family, gentleness, unconditional love and speed. And the eagle. Perspective, call to source, and patience. Which one of these animals represents you? Which strength do you need? And I put the Perthro card. 
And it's for karma, chance, mysteries, wiz, uh, visions, intuitions, reveal the truth, divine hidden facts, understanding your fate, developing intuition. And Isis has this to say. Temple of uh, Cornelian. It is time to trust your own boldness and courage. Taking risks that feel true to your heart and engaging in practices that make you feel truly and generally alive, embodied in more of yourself, even if it's not always comfortable are going to help you live the life you were born to live. And that is your reading for today. I am love. We are love. Thank you for watching.